Uh, that is Alvin from Dr. Wealth. Tesla shareholders are going to a meeting on 17 June to vote for four resolution and one of them is about the controversial pay package for Elon Musk which is worth $56 billion and in Tesla market cap terms that is about 10% of this entire uh, worth in the market at the current moment and that's a very heavy dilution to the market if let's say this uh, op stock options eventually get converted to shares right and as well as a very big compensation for Elon Musk himself so just want to give you a bit of that uh, comparison right in 2023 the best paid CEO is actually a uh, hot Tan from uh, Broadcom so he's a Malaysian and his uh, compensation total topped about $161.8 million in 2023. That's not just cash, but it's a combination of cash plus stock option plus other benefits, right? Altogether, uh, $160 million. And I just can't compare just uh, one year alone because Elon Musk's pay package is over a span of six years between 2018 to 2024. And that's worth $56 billion. So I sum up the past six years uh, compensation for Hock Tan and we get about $477.2 million. And also another uh, prominent executive, which is Tim Cook at Apple, one of the most valuable companies in the world. And over the past six years, he got a compensation of $435.49 million. So these are way, way, way below Elon Musk's $56 billion because for this top paying executive, you're not even getting a billion, not even half a billion. Close to that, but definitely not close to $1 billion. And Elon Musk is getting $56 billion. So that's where some of the shareholders are making noise, right? Uh, yes, Elon Musk should be compensated properly, but it's $56 billion, 10% of Tesla market cap, too excessive. So some investors or some shareholders definitely think so. Now I want to give you some other perspective as well. Right? So Elon Musk is already the richest man in the world with uh, over $200 billion. If you add another $56 billion, he will definitely stay far ahead in the number one spot because uh, uh, Bernard, Bernard Arno, is, uh, which is LVMH founder, is at $202 billion. Okay, so it's quite close to Elon Musk's $208 billion at the moment. So with a $56 billion additional, Elon Musk is firmly cemented in the first place for a long time to come. But it, I don't think it is because he wants to be the richest in the world, right? Uh, you need resources, which in this case is money to do a lot of things. And his belief uh, to be wanting to pursue some of these uh, ambitions that he have, like putting people in masks and things like that, projects like this, ambitious projects. So uh, having resources definitely makes sense, right? And also having a bigger control in Tesla would also give him more powers to steer where uh, the company is going. So that is from the non-monetary standpoint. Okay. Um, additional things that shareholders may want to consider is that Musk doesn't take a salary, right? Because that's another way that he can get compensated well, get a high paying salary uh, if he wants it, but he doesn't get any uh, salary in cash. He does get stock options, but his stock options is based on performance of the company. So the performance, the company must do well in, and achieve targets in order for Elon Musk to be given this uh, stock options. So there is a case where for this particular pay package that was decided in 2018, um, if Tesla didn't achieve anything, he would not get a single cent over the last six years. Okay, so it is a very extreme kind of compensation package. And in 2018, the shareholders approve this compensation package that is worth as much as $56 billion okay? and by a, a big majority of 73%. Okay? So it is a sense that you no know, shareholders find that it was a good deal then. So I also think that shareholders should not make noise now right? because it was simply approved. And that's a simple uh, principle which I will share a bit more later. Um, and it is true that Elon Musk have delivered. right? He has hit the targets that were stipulated and that's why he uh, is able to get or supposed to get that $56 billion pay package that uh, was promised to him in 2018. Right? Given you know, whether in terms of stock returns, in terms of the market cap of uh, Tesla, in terms of profitability, at that time it was a loss of $2.2 .2 billion. He have uh, drive the Tesla profitability to about $15 billion. And there's also a lot of uh, uh, 7x, the number of cars that were being produced and delivered by Tesla over the span of that, that period. So you can see that uh, Without doubt, uh, Elon Musk have contributed contributed significantly to Tesla's success. Right? Without Musk, I would think that Tesla would not be where it is today. So definitely, credit must be given as well. So that's why I believe it's a simple principle. Okay, shareholders agreed on the pay compensation on the targets. It was voted in the AGM, right, and it was approved by 70, uh, and voted by seventy 
percent of the um, shareholders and Elon Musk have delivered the results and have hit the target that was stipulated in his pay package and therefore I think that since he's delivered now it's time for shareholders to deliver that uh, promise to him that he's supposed to get compensated if the pay package was supposed to be excessive it should not be approved in 2018 right but somehow it was approved in 2018 and therefore i think that uh, promise is a promise and it should be honored at the end of the day so i think going forward shareholders should be a bit more mindful about uh, this kind of uh, uh, pay packages if they think that's outrageous even though that they think there's low probability of succeeding they should not approve it in the first place right so i think this is water on the beach but of course uh, uh, Declaration, I'm not a shareholder. Yeah, I'm not influencing anybody to vote. I just, uh, uh, from an objective standpoint, that I'm saying that I think that uh, it should be honored in a sense. Okay? And another interesting thing that I want to point out is uh, for founders, they tend to be more eccentric, especially that kind of uh, Elon Musk character where he pushes the envelope to achieve more innovation and more progress for technology. And this image is from Peter Thiel, which is his colleague, Elon Musk colleague back at PayPal, right? And uh, Peter Thiel was saying that for founders, it has a very extreme kind of behavior. So the founders can be charismatic on one hand, but they can also be very disagreeable, right? If you have been following Elon Musk's views on Twitter, you know that he has some strong opinions. Not every opinion you will agree with, right? So founders tend to have this kind of uh, personality. And therefore, even in terms of the pay compensation, pay package that Elon Musk has dropped up together with Tesla, it's very different, right? It's, he doesn't receive an annual salary per se. It is based on targets alone in order for him to get stock option, right? He doesn't get a single cash, single cent of cash, right? At the end of the day. So that is why I think that uh, it, Tesla shareholders must be comfortable in this kind of compensation, which is beyond the norm. Okay? Because Elon Musk is different. He has that kind of a, a weirdo founder mentality, right? And uh, so at the end of the day, that's why I say that uh, amount is staggering, right? Without doubt, right? Major dilution, uh, $56 billion, for a person is very excessive, even over span of six years, you're getting about $10 billion of compensation per year. Right? That's really excessive. But I think a promise is a promise and he has to be compensated. And uh, he is eccentric. That's why the pay package is eccentric. And he did achieve the goals and he did deliver. Right? So there is, uh, there are promises made. And therefore, the shareholders should offer their pay package promise as well. That's my view. And lastly, investing in Tesla is investing in Elon Musk. Right? It comes together as a package. You cannot have one without the other. And I think that uh, Tesla will be very different without Elon Musk, right? So even going forward, there's still more frontiers of the technology to be broken, right? Talking about AI, talking about robotics, humanoid robots, all these kind of things. So I do think that uh, Elon Musk is still important to Tesla and Tesla is slightly to be better off with Elon Musk than any other executive. So we can say that yes, shareholders are stuck with uh, Elon Musk and his eccentricity, but that is the... Uh, uh, some people may see it as a con of investing in Tesla, and but I will say that it comes with the pros as well. All right. Hopefully, this video can give you a better understanding about uh, Elon Musk's pay package. And if you are shareholders, how would you vote? Right. Share your comments, share your views in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.